Uh, Shalom, Akim, the brother Raza Allah from GMS London Camp. First and foremost, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, for Hashem Yahweh Shai, for Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Blessings unto the holy elect, hopeful elect, run the four winds, waiting to be living in these last days, last seconds of this wicked ass empire, man, known as Babylon the Great, aka America. You know, the trash talking is real, man. Going back and forth from Garden America and Russia. This war talk and shit's about to pop off sooner rather than later, man. Lord willing, the end of the, going towards the end of this year, or it can even be a hot summer this year. Uh, you know, Lord's willing, because it's the most high, most of master of the host of the battle at the end of the day. This is his movie, but the trash talking is real. Like you got, to, like you have, a, if you had a heavyweight bout and you got the two heavyweights going back at it, or the two heavyweights in this cauldron of war that's, that's stirring right now, it's over boiling the pot. Is America. Which is one superpower, and Russia is another superpower, man. And they're going at it, man. It's about to be a heavyweight bout taking place between these world powers, man. The world leaders. But only it's the judgment of the Lord, man. Because you know, as the scripture says, Egyptian shall be against Egyptian in the book of Isaiah, in the 19th chapter. And um, the Most High is making all this happen, man. Because he's going to destroy these modern day Egyptians. Talking about these Edomites, these so called white people that are on top. Starting with the so called bankers, man. They're going to get it in the worst way. So um, I'm just going to read the part of these articles and I've got two articles, a couple of scriptures and close out. It says, Trump, get ready. Russian missiles will be coming at Syria nice and new and smart. It's from RT.com. It says, Donald Trump warned Russia to get ready after Moscow vowed to shoot any missiles fired at Syria down. It says, they will be coming nice and new and smart. Trump tweeted. And this is a response for that 48-hour um response that Trump said earlier in the week in regards to the Syria conflict, you know, this chemical bomb attacks that so called happened over there in Syria, man, which Esau ultimately set up anyway, the bankers set up. But it's all to start off this court like, you know, the culmination of this war, man. Between these all these um um superpowers. You know, and ultimately it's gonna get the America destroyed, you know, because they think they're gonna come out on top but they're not. This ain't a movie, man. Well, this ain't Amer this ain't the Hollywood movies, you know, like where America always succeeds and wins in the end. This ain't gonna happen this time, man. This is reality, man. And ultimately, the most this is the most highest movie, and he's gonna make sure you devils go down in uh, in fashion, man. You know, in the worst way. Since this tweet appears to be an unofficial announcement of the major de decisions which Trump said Washington would st soon be making regarding the alleged chemical attack in Syria, which he said 48 hours. So this that's trash talking, you know. You know, and America, and, you know, soon, soon about later, or sooner rather than later, uh, you know, Russia retaliated, man. You know, because they, 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 they ain't they ain't taking you know they ain't taking that shit, man. They ain't taking that trash talk. They're gonna be trash talking back. You know, it's gonna be punch for punch. Blow for blow, says Moscow to Trump. Says our smart missiles and attempt to destroy alleged chemical attack evidence in Syria. See, because you know everyone, you know the top from the elites and on down, they know what's really going on behind closed doors, man. They know who's really setting up all these different attacks and all that, all these false flag attacks. Only it's America by way of the international banking families, man, Rothschilds and all that. Because they want to establish their new world order, you know, through a, a, a tactic called order of chaos, you know, order through chaos. But that shit's gonna catch them in their own snare, you know, as the scriptures say, and they're gonna get caught in their own gin and ultimately get destroyed, man, by their own sort of advanced technology by way of them nuclear missiles. Because they're talking about smart missiles and all these um, advanced technologies and the smart missiles that they got, but ultimately that's gonna destroy them, destroy their kingdom. He's responding to a threat from US President Donald Trump who said Russia should prepare for a new nice a nice new and smart missiles as is launched by America to, at Syria. It says Moscow said it if the weapons were smart they would target terrorists. It says smart missiles should be fl fly towards terrorists, not Syria. It says a lot a lot of lawful government. Syria's lawful government, which has spent several years fighting against international terrorism on its territory. So Russian Foreign Minister spokesperson Maria Zakharova said in response to Trump's tweet on Wednesday. So, you know, it's punch for punch, blow for blow, man. Who, who can hit the hardest? But only them nuclear missiles are going to hit and turn America into ashes, man. 
Because the Mosai is not playing, man. And he's, he's gathering these nations together, man. Let's just jump to the scriptures and quickly and then close out. But yeah, you know, we're in the time of war, man. So, you know, this is definitely the time to um, strap strap up, stay tight in this word. Because the ride's about to get bumpy, man. This is Isaiah 13 and 4. 13 and 4. It's the noise of a multitude in the mountains. So, who's that talking about? All these nations, man. These so called superpowers. The mountains re represent big governments, man. And hills represent small governments. So, these superpowers are talking that trash right now. The trash talking, the noise of a multitude, the tumult, the arguing, you know, making murmurs against each other, wars and rumors of wars. It says, as, as like as of a great people, it's a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms and nations gathered together. Tumultuous noise, man. Making them arguing, going back and forth, trash talking, you know. So, that's the prophecy speaking right there. It says, the Lord Yahweh of hosts, master of the hosts of the battle. Okay, so the trash talking is going to come to an end sooner or rather than later and ultimately they're going to press them press them buttons because of that pride man and they're going to ultimately destroy each other man and destroy Esau's kingdom and that's going to be the end and be all of Esau man and then after that he's got a thousand years of hardcore bondage man because our Lord needs to save you have a shy that's going to cut through them clouds simultaneously is and World War 3 is taking place in the heavens man it says in verse 5 it says they come from a far country what's that talking about the nuclear missiles, man, the ICBMs, them smart missiles that these devils are talking about. So, so from the end of heaven, even the Lord says that in the weapons of his Indian nation. says to destroy the whole land. What land? The land of America, man. A.K.A. Babylon the Great. You know? This is going to take place, man. So the prophecies are speaking loud and clear. You know, Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. And it's not tarrying. Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. It says a time to love, a time to hate. We're in a time of hate right now. A time of war. Definitely in a time of war right now. This is a time of peace. And the time of peace is going to come after this war takes place. Because in the kingdom, the Lord said that we shall, and no, none of the nations shall learn war no more. Because righteousness is going to be ruling on the earth, man. You know? So when the wicked are in rule, people mourn. That's why they're going back and forth. These nations are going back and forth. That obviously, that obviously gives you another inkling or another, another um, piece of evidence there that the true Jews ain't in the land of Israel right now. Because there's, 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 the land's on the a vibration of war and hate right now man there ain't no love and peace on the earth right now man you know that love and peace is going to come after world war three takes place man as i just said so yeah, we're definitely in a time of war man so this ain't the time to be lollygagging it's time to buckle up you know this is ezekiel um 28 and i'll start from oh, verse 6 here it says therefore that's if Lord Yahweh, this is because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of the Most High. Yeah, these Edomites, that pride, man, through their AI technology, boasting about their smart missiles and all that. They want to declare themselves the AI Messiah through their New World Order, you know. They're dependent on that technology, man, but that's that pride, man, on their heart. You know, trying to declare themselves as the Most High, because they want to control everything through that technology, man, you know. Try and claim themselves as the omnipotent ones on the earth. But the Lord's going to, you know, they're going to be sadly mistaken when the Lord shows himself, man, and he, and he sends his son back to declare war on these, these other nations. They're going to they're gonna lose, they're going to lose sorrowfully, man. It says, verse 7, Behold, therefore I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations. That's why all these nations are, you know, lining up, you know, they're in that war strategy, they're getting ready to go come against America, and America's getting ready to come against them, their allies, man. Ultimately, they're all, all America's allies are going to turn against them and burn them with fire. When they get that scripture, the Lord willing, it says, The terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom. Talking about Babylon the Great, aka America, you know, the height of your, your you know, your, your, your empire. You know, it says, And they shall defy thy brightness, you know, so called land of opportunity. Really, it's the home of the slave, you know. You say, um, and uh, they're going to destroy that place, man. For all the iniquity that they've been doing on this earth, man. You know, they're, they're not going to... The Lord said he required that which is past, man. All that blood, bloodshed of the nation of Israel that has been shot in that land, starting with the Native Americans, these devils got to pay for that. they got, they got to pay, man. But by way of blood. No gold or silver or reparations going to pay for that. It's only by way of blood, man. That's why the Lord's going to... You know, the Lord's going to be mass death. You know. And it's beautiful, man. Because we're going to make it out of it very soon, man. Lord willing to be of the whole, whole, holy elect. It's Revelation 17 and 16. And the ten horns talk about NATO and the EU. 
ten he- ten horns, seven heads with ten horns, uh, <coughs> and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, it says thee shall hate the whore. America is that whore, man. You know, that all these nations are drunk of the wrath of a fornication. They got drunk of that Babylon juice. You know, and now these nations don't want to fuck with America no more. Because they ain't the world dominant power on the earth no more. They ain't the only one with a nuclear missile. All these other nation, nations have that technology too now. So they want to separate themselves from America, man. But, you know, America's going to try and, you know, be the, still trying to be the big bully on the earth. And it's going to get their asses destroyed, man. You know, they're doing things they should, shouldn't be doing, going against the UN decisions and all that, the Council of the UN, doing things in, inadequately, thinking that they can just, you know, do as that will, but ultimately it's going to get them destroyed in these last days. It said, then shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh with, and burn her with fire. So that's that nuclear missiles, man. That's why the Lord made them, these devils create that nuclear missiles, like it tells in the book of Isaiah. For the, 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 the day of the Lord's judgment, man, to destroy themselves, basically. So these revel, these, this, yeah, these revelations, these words, these prophecies are speaking, man, loud and clear for those who can hear, man. Those who have ears, they hear. You know, it's Revelation 22 and 7. It says, "Behold, I come quickly." Who's this talking about? It's written in red. It's talking about our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai coming quickly, coming as a thief of the night. It says, "Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of this of the prophecy of this book." It ain't talking about no other book, man. It's talking about this book, man. All the prophecies from the Book of Genesis all the way down to Book of Revelation, man. Prophesying about the, his in, his second coming and the destruction of um, this empire we're currently in, Babylon the Great, man. Because Esau was the end of the world and Jacob was the beginning of it that followeth. So the Lord Lord said that we've got to keep these prophecies, man. And we can't be changing up the doctrine. But stick to what we've been taught, man. Because ultimately that's the, the you know, the scripture says roughly paraphrasing is able to save your souls, man. You know. The belief, you know, and the faith that these 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 prophecies are gonna to come to pass. And if you're if you're not blind, you know, spiritually not blind, you can see that this is about to go down, man. World War Three is about to kick off the RFID chip. You know, which is the mark of the beast is about to be made mandatory. These prophecies are speaking. It's not tarrying no more, man. You know? So we got to, you know, be prepared. You know? This is all hell is about to break loose. It's Jeremiah 50. And, <coughs> and I'll start from... Um, so from um, I'll start from 8 It says Remove out of the midst of Babylon And go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans Talk about America And said Be as the he goats Before the flocks And it says For lo I will raise And cause to come And cause to come up Against Babylon An assembly of great nations See all these nations Are assembling their armies Right now so From the north country Talking about who? Russia Mother of Russia And all that man You know and they're, they're, they're guard to all these other small nations, like Iran, Syria, and all that. So all these nations are assembly, assembly, it's going to be an assembly of great nations gathered where? To that valley of Jehoshaphat. Which Jehoshaphat means Yahweh Shapat, which means the Most High's judgment. You know? Because ultimately, as I said, this is his movie, man. He's going to, you know, this is the finale to that movie before our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai comes and delivers his elect. It says, and they shall set themselves in array against her, against two, against America, man. It says, from thence she shall be taken. So America's going to get taken out, man. There ain't going to be no reviving of making America great again. That's all BS, man. America's going to be a dust pile of ashes, man. You know? And it's going to be a testament of how not to rule. You know? When you rule in wickedness, this is what you get, man. Out of destruction from the Most High. It says, their arrows... Which is those nuclear missiles shall be as a, of a mighty expert man. It says none shall return in vain. So once them them nuclear nukes are so, shut off, they ain't coming back, man. They ain't gonna change their mind to have feelings and return and think, no, we ain't gonna destroy America today. When the most like puts it in these these dev, um, these devils' minds, these superpower nations, to push them buttons, it's not gonna return void, man. It's gonna accomplish and hit. Wherever the Lord wants it to hit, man, and their intent, the the intention is to destroy America, aka Babylon the Great. So this trash talking, you know, so there's only going to be so much more tra- trash talking going on before ultimately them nukes get, them nuke buttons get pushed off, man, and then and, you know America gets destroyed once and for all. You know, finally see the the the, the fall and demise of these devils, man, these so-called white people, these Edomite devils, you know, which is deservedly so. Anyway, I'm going to close out. Praise and glory to you. How about Shimmy Shai? Shalom to the elect, man.